<laughs> it's gonna be an upset. Hold on, let me talk to the people. What's poppin', fight world? You rockin' with your boy, man. Listen, we got some good fights tonight, man. Before Saturday night, Saturday night gonna be explosive, man. But I wanna be on record to give you the news that your boy Mugia is gonna take his first loss, man. Listen, I like the kid, man. Nothing against the kid, man. Young, flashy, front foot dominant. He let his hands go. He got power in both hands, but he get hit too much, man. And Johnson. <laughs> Johnson is about that life, man. Johnson is the athletic bastard that goes to the body, come back up top with a nice hook. He's a pressure fighter, too. He loves to fight on the front foot. So we got two front foot dominant fighters with... Good boxing skills. Mugia don't have too much technical ability as far as moving side to side, use angles. He's a straight up and down, no special effects, coming straight forward and going straight backwards. And I just don't understand how he's going to be able to avoid the punches and variation from Johnson. Johnson knows that tonight is the night. If he didn't take that brown paper bag in the locker room, he's coming to win this fight. And he may stop your boy, Mugia, man. I think that Mugia understands this. And I think he's going to be very cautious. I think he's going to come in with a different game plan and I hope they don't rob my boy because you know Johnson is not a big name and you know how they like to do you know statement with guys that are just not marketable according to you know the promoters this is Delahoya this is this is the all the makings of a robbery if the fight goes the distance and you know Mugia got some good shots in they'll just try to justify it by hey look you know, Mugir did some things. He probably rocked your boy Johnson here and there. But I'm telling you right now, man, this is going to be the title. Robbery, robbery, robbery. Because at the end of the day, I don't see how he's going to be able to deal with a slick athletic bastard. This is the reason why I don't see him beating Triple G or beating the Charles. Because he get hit too much. And if you got some slick athletic ability with you and you moving and you slipping and you countering, it's going to be tough for Mugir to get out of the way because his face is his blocking mechanism he doesn't block traditionally man he blocks with his face now he may have changed his game style up come in here I, I, and i believe he's going to come in with a different game plan because he has to against johnson johnson's going to be shooting that jab and hitting him anytime he no, wants no, they, to they're about to start okay hold on yeah so i just want johnson to make sure he stays in front of mugia he doesn't have to worry about just slipping in this line don't waste too much energy man just show your dominance coming forward using your jab as far as mugia look he's a good strong athletic young talented fighter with good power man if this guy want to be elite if he want to show us that he could put hands and feet on jamal Charles which I thought he would be able to have a shot because of his power and his erraticness and his ability to get to where he want to be even while taking shots. So he needs to show that, hey, guys, I can shoot off the front foot and use my distance, use my range without collapsing in the pocket and getting a two piece, getting a two piece and taking a one piece in the process. You see what I'm saying? So I need him to show the world that he could, he got boxing skills. Right? Like, like, like I said before, he can't he can't box. So how you get in the ring with somebody that's athletic? So show me the night movie that you ready for the big boy. I'll let you know yeah. the next day. New media, new perspective. This is what new media look like. This is what new media look like. It's all about casual boxing talk. Just when you thought you had to figure it out. New media, new perspective. Casual boxing talk.